Hey everyone, Ben here with 9to5Google, and in this video we'll be going over a few hidden features in Android Nougat and show you how to try them out for yourself. The first big feature that was discovered within the final release of Android Nougat was Night Mode. Now this feature, similar to Night Shift on iOS, tints the screen red to make it better for use at night. While you won't find this playing around with the final release of Nougat, you can enable it pretty easily. The first step is to turn on the System UI Tuner by long pressing on the Settings icon in the Notification Shade. Once that's done, head over to the Google Play Store and download the free app Night Mode Enabler. A link to this app is available over on 9to5google.com. Now after that has been installed, tap Enable Night Mode and you should have the functionality restored. Now sometimes you'll need to do this final step a couple of times to fully enable the feature. Next, let's talk about multitasking. And for this, we'll move over to the Nexus 9. Now, of course, one of the big features in Android Nougat is split-screen multitasking, but it'd still be nice to have Windows just like we see on desktop platforms. Luckily, you can do that with freeform apps. Now, we caught this back in Nougat's developer previews, and now you can enable it with just a handful of steps. Now, first, you're going to enable developer options. If you're unsure how to do this, head over to our written piece over on 9to5google.com. Now once you've done this, scroll all the way to the bottom and select Force Activities to be Resizable. Next, go over to Google Play and download the app Taskbar. Again, links are available over on 9to5google.com. Now once that has been installed, ensure Freeform Windows Support is enabled in Taskbar, turn on the service, and clear all of your recent apps. Now you should be able to click on the app drawer icon at the bottom left of your display and easily launch apps in their own windows. Keep in mind of course that this functionality is not completed, so you will undoubtedly encounter bugs and some apps may not work at all. Another quick and easy feature you can access is Google's Flappy Bird game from Android Lollipop and Marshmallow. To do this, head over to Google Play and download Activity Launcher, and then open up the app. From here, locate the System UI section, find Marshmallow Land, and follow the steps to create a shortcut to that Easter egg on your home screen. Now last but not least, we'll get just a little bit advanced. Now it was recently revealed that Google is working on a section of the System UI that allows users to customize the arrangement and function of buttons on an on-screen navigation bar. Now this does require a custom recovery to work, so if you want to try it out, I urge you to visit XDA for the needed instructions. A link to that is also available over on our website. Now once you have flashed the needed files on your device, you'll notice within the System UI Tuner that a section is now available dedicated to the navigation bar. From here you'll be able to rearrange buttons, add buttons, and even create custom ones. Some things don't work just yet, but this is a very promising feature for the future. For now, that will do it for this video. If there are any hidden Nougat features that you've found out about, leave a comment down below and let us know. Once again, all the download links and instructions you'll need can be found on 9to5google.com with a link down in the description below. As always, thank you for watching.